Caddis Maximus here again, this time with the Fluke 61 infrared thermometer. And the battery just died on me as I was making this review. These are a non-contact infrared thermometer. Uh, there's many, many of these out. Even Harbor Freight has them. They have a little laser to spot with. The one thing is that these aren't really for pinpointing. So if you put them near your hand, they'll be pretty accurate. Otherwise, uh, they kind of pick up a general area, but of course they're non-contact, so they're really handy for just so many things. You can use them for cooking and automotive applications. They're great for electricians to see if maybe certain circuit breakers are running hot in a the panel. Uh, then you know that circuit's overloaded. Uh, they're great for cell phone repair because often cell phones are glued together, and so you need to use a heat gun to get them hot enough to peel the, the glass off. And it's really nice just to use one of these to point it out to see that you're at the right temperature, whatever it is, 100 and something odd degrees. Um, of course, it's a fluke, so it's really pretty accurate and has a green backlit screen. Um, and it is a wand type instead of the handle type. And I'll do a review of a Harbor Freight version of one of those. Anyway, that was just a quick review of the fluke. I think this only goes to 700 degrees, um, but it's still really accurate and pretty nice. And uh, is actually one of the cheaper fluke items, and it has a nice boot that goes over it, so it's pretty heavy duty, and it's one of the nice uh, features. Uh, the only issue is a 9 volt battery, and it tends to suck them up pretty fast. So that was just a quick review of the Fluke 61 um, infrared temperature meter and or infrared thermometer. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.